What's up guys, Judo Sloth here and we are back on the Little Judo Sloth account. Going to be featuring lots more beginner tips in this video, explaining a few more things and then we are going to upgrade to Town Hall 3 where we can really start to teach you a few more early game attack strategies. So if we first look at our storages, we are maxed out. We're capped off at 7,000 of each. This is what I was explaining in the last video in that you want to try and get your storages upgraded as quick as you can because you will cap out very quickly when you're raiding people online and when you're getting those resources from the mines and pumps. Looking at what we get for upgrading to Town Hall 3, we do get the mortar on the right hand side there, but the building in the centre is the laboratory. This is what you use to upgrade your troops. So currently we have the barbarians and the archers. We can use the laboratory to upgrade them to future levels in order to make them stronger, faster, have more health and all around better troops. This obviously helps you as you move through the game and come across stronger bases. I did mention the gem box in the previous video and you can see I did speed up the gameplay there and we received 25 gems as we removed that obstacle. So we're up to 300 gems. We need 500 for that third builder if you remember. And also as I was explaining in the last video, you don't want to be sitting with your builders doing nothing. So let's upgrade this cannon and come back when they're all finished. There we have it guys, Town Hall 3, we are there. And this will allow us to upgrade our buildings even further and build new ones. You can see moving into the shop, we can build more of the buildings we already have so we can have extra gold mines and storage, elixir collectors and storage. Let's start building them so we can make some more resources and also we did unlock some new buildings as well. So we did unlock some decorations. These don't really do too much, obviously as they say, just decorate your base. Here is the laboratory where we can upgrade our troops. That is going to be very important. We'll get to that in another video, but first let's build another army camp. So the army camps are used to store your troops. The barracks build them and train them, but then the army camps actually store them. And the more army camps you have, the more troops you can hold. As we upgrade the army camps, we can then hold even more. This is going to be a big help when we do our attacking because naturally you're going to have more troops to use. Here is the mortar, the new defense we unlocked for upgrading to Town Hall 3. We're not going to build this in this video, so we will talk about it in the future, but it basically is the first building you unlock that does splash damage. Now all that means is it can hit multiple of your troops with one shot but it can be very, very effective at this level. We also unlocked the village edit mode, so you can freely move around your base and design it however you want. We will use that a little bit later on, just to kind of switch our base around a bit. Nothing too strategic, but we will bring out future videos on base designs, especially at this low level. So let's dive out into multiplayer for the first time on this account. I have barbarians and archers cooked up what is known as the barch strategy. I have upgraded my barracks there to unlock the goblin. He is used purely to steal resources, but we will show him in another video. Now at this level, all you're really interested in is the resources, the gold and elixir. You can see that displayed on the top left corner. So this base is ideal. We have one and a half thousand of each. Now there are a couple of defences, so we're going to place Barbarians in first. They are a little bit more tanky because they have more health. And then we can bring Archers in behind in order to shoot over the top of the Barbarians and help to take the defences out. You have three minutes for the entire battle, and this is more than enough time at Town Hall level three. So take your time to pick away at the defences first, especially on bases like this where they haven't built any walls yet, and then your troops will be free to roam around the base and take out the resources afterwards. If you focus your troops in on other buildings, it gives the defences time to shoot away at your troops and they're constantly taking more health off them. It's much more efficient to try and take the defences down first and then you have nothing to shoot at any of your troops. I accidentally deployed quite a few more troops as I was trying to zoom in, but it does show a good example of the amount of troops left on the map. Even if they survive, you do not get these troops back. Once you have deployed them, that's it. They're gone forever. You'll have to retrain them in the barracks, 
but the ones that you haven't deployed you can see are still in my army camp. So when you're trying to save up for resources and it costs you to actually remake the troops, you do want to try and be efficient and not deploy more than what it is needed. This is something that will come with practice and just playing the game. You will begin to understand the strength of your troops and the types of bases they can take out. You'll then have a good idea of how many you need to deploy. Let's go ahead and build ourselves some walls. When you want to upgrade them, you can select an entire row of walls and upgrade them all at once. The walls are used as an added defense to try and stop the attacker getting into your base. If you think just about the barbarians, without a wall, they can run straight up to a building. However, if there is a wall in place, they have to get through that first before they can attack and any defenses standing behind the wall will have enough time to be shooting at the barbarians that entire time, so it buys time for your defences to do damage on the attacker. If you can enclose your strongest defences or your most valuable buildings within a wall, it makes them harder to get to. You can sometimes use walls to redirect troops and draw them into a certain area. This is then a good position to place hidden traps, which you unlock more of them as you progress through the game. At Town Hall 3, you unlock two small bombs. I don't have them currently, but a good position for them would be next to the cannon on the right, in between the gold mine. Troops would be drawn into that cannon because the wall is not fully attached in that area, and then there would be two hidden traps waiting for them. So we've just quickly chucked a base together, but what we'll do is we'll unlock the mortar and the bombs and everything for Town Hall 3 and then try to make something a little bit more strategic to help you guys out at this level. So we have one builder that's not currently working. Let's use him to upgrade this gold mine and then we will finish off our barge troops, our barbarians and archers, and then we will go out and have one more attack before we wrap up this video. So as I was explaining in the first raid, the main thing you want to look for is the gold and elixir which is available for you to steal. That is displayed in the top left whenever a village is shown. You can see this one had 500 of each. Don't worry about your trophy level at this stage in the game. You'll get attacked quite a lot and you'll find that in the early stages you'll climb the trophies quite quickly. Before you know it, you'll be in the bronze league but this is good because the higher trophies you have, you tend to be matched with harder opponents and therefore they tend to have more loot available to steal. Here's a base that has nearly 4,000 elixir and over 4,000 gold to steal, so this is a very good base to attack. There are a couple of cannons on the outside of the walls, so these are rather easy to take. The barbarians can be used to distract, but also will be able to do damage on them cannons as well. Once they are down, the only defence left is this archer tower. Now the barbarians cannot do damage on it directly because the wall is in the way, but I was able to use them to distract the archer tower because they have more health, and then the archers I was able to deploy and they shot over the wall to take out the archer tower. That is the barge strategy in a nutshell, but we will bring it to you more featured in another video. The barbarians go down first to distract the defences and the archers shoot over walls in order to take them out. Once them defences are down, it's just a case of watching my troops clean up all of this juicy loot. I am going to speed up the gameplay in order to finish this off and this is not something you can do in game, this is all done through my video editing software. You can see that I've taken out all of the buildings in the middle, but there's a builder hut in the corner and a one in the other corner. This is something you will come across quite a lot as you move through the game. It's purely to try and waste time and make you run out of time in the battle. It won't really affect you if you're just going for loot, but as you move through the game and get more competitive, the last thing you want is to get a 99% 2 star because of a stray builder's hut. So that wraps it up for this video, stay tuned as we move through Town Hall Level 3, bringing you strategy and tips and tricks for these low levels. I've been your host Judo Sloth, subscribe for more Clash of Clans, and until next time, peace out guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.